Good morning, you're joining me on an absolutely glorious day in March. It's actually meant to get up to about 13, 14 degrees today in the sun. Now I've already tried to film this video once last week and the weather was polar opposite and I got completely rained out. So I've come down to a local day ticket today. I've got the Sonic three rod rod transporter and hooking mat. And this is unessential stuff for everyone else really. That's more of a seat than a bucket of bait, but I have got some bait in there in case I need it and obviously all my camera kit. But this is the main focus. So this is the rod transporter that Luke has done a video on before from Sonic. And it's basically, he went through all the ins and outs of it, all the different configuration stuff, and how much take, stuff you can take with it. But for me, I actually get to go fishing. So I've got the better end of the deal, because whereas he's had to show through all the boring bits of talking you through the whole stuff, I get to just go and use it and see how practical it is to actually use. So to start with, all the stuff I need is in here. I'll go through it in more detail when I get down into the swim. But the only negative about it so far it doesn't quite fit my Manfrotto tripod head in there. So uh, Sonic clearly didn't have cameramen in mind when they made this pocket, but it does have a net in there as well, so it probably would fit without that. But uh, everything else I need is in there. So without further ado, get my ticket in the box, walk on down to the lake with all of this on the back. That's the other handy thing about it. Get the rods out and fingers crossed, we can have ourselves some lovely fish in the sun. Now I've just dropped some of the other stuff down there because I'm going to quickly look up here, see how busy the lake is on this side. But it's a good way of showing how practical this bag is. This place is very, uh, well, non-barrow friendly, should I say. And this kind of replaces the need for a barrow because everything I need is on here. Oh, excuse me while I navigate this mud. Everything I need is on here. And I've just got around that double sort of gated, whatever this is. It's meant to stop sheep getting in and out. So uh, it's very impractical to get a barrow in around there. And when you're walking down from the car park, which is at the top of the hill, you sometimes need to bring a lot of stuff for your day session. And having it all on your back like this, I didn't need to bring everything else other than the hooking mat would be in my hand. Everything I needed in here, and I didn't have to unload a barrow, get it all over the fence and barrow, uh, load the barrow back up. So that's a big plus point to having this on my back. Well, after all that, I decided I'm gonna go on the other side in a free swim, which has got lots of daylight and sun so it's going to be nice and comfortable and hopefully the fish are enjoying the sun too. So we're down in my chosen swim and it's absolutely gorgeous today. Really nice day to be out and uh, I think it's going to be sunny all morning so I might even get a bit of a tan in March. But uh, I did use this the other day as I said but I did get rained out so I've had a bit of experience of using this in the rain. First of all it's got a wipe clean heavy duty base so when I was using it the other day in the pouring rain in the mud it's safe uh, I'll rest assured that I can put it down on the bottom and it shouldn't ingress through and even if it does get really mucky it's only on the underside so this is the orientation you have it on on the outside as you can probably tell I've already taken the tripod out because I'm using it but I've got the landing net in here standard 46 inch or 42 inch sorry I think it is uh, landing net so I'll have to set that up in a second and of course I have my hooking mat separate now I'm going to put my hooking mat here and you'll see why in a second, because I have used this already. And one of the things I find is when you undo the top panel, because obviously this is raised, it then sort of flops the other side. You'll see what I mean. So if I undo it, it's not a big issue, but it's just easier to use this if you've got something to support it once you open it up. So open it up, as you see, it's resting on the unhooking mat rather than flopping down. So I've got two rods in there at the moment. It will fit three. Um, and as you can see, you've got individual reel pouches unclip that that holds it all together and then velcro to keep each reel in place bit of a mess at the moment because i cut all the lines off the other day to take them fishing another day and then you've got all these separate little pouches or boxes or bags whatever in this section now these are all transferable so I'll take this one off i can then stick it to this side but of course that'd be in the way of the reels so the idea of these being able to move around and be in different sizes that's the biggest this is medium that's the smallest is that you can move them around into different configurations you can take one out if you don't need it, put it in if you're going on a longer session. But also because they're all different sizes and can be moved around, it means that whatever position your reels are in, they'll fit. So this is a universal bag. So say if you've got various different uh, short rods and the butt section is slightly different to say another set of short rods you've got, it doesn't just have to be sonic ones, although they'd love you to have sonic rods of course. If you've got a set of retractable rods and you want a system like this, it is universal because this slides up and down on little runners. So depending on where your reels sit, you can move that to keep them protected and then just move the bags accordingly to fit them. 
that makes sense. So nice and secure actually the rods, they've got Velcro there, uh, one at the top end as well, and that's then got a folded over flap to protect the tips and a clips that clips it in place. And of course these keep the rods in place. So when you've got all three in there with all this stuff around them, you want your rods to be nice and secure and not knocking around and they do that. So that's really handy. I'll quickly run through some of the items I've got with me in here today. I've got my PV bag set back, uh, bucket here, a few little bits and bobs. So I've got my um, carp care kit, some metal pop-ups and things. That's the main essentials. What I'm gonna be using today is my solid bag setup in the middle bag. Not got a lot in here other than couple of um, towels by looks of things and also the bite alarms which I need to set up in a second but I'll put them down there and then this one is the biggest one of them all it's just got a coat in case it does get a bit chilly later and my food but of course you put whatever you want in here uh, to cater for your session now one thing I will say is because you carry it in a certain way it makes sense to put your heavier items down the bottom which is why I've got my PVA bucket uh, PVA bag bucket here because it's full of pellet a couple of kilos of weight that's down the bottom again the real seats are down this way so try and weight everything down that end of the bag and then put lighter items in the top section that also means that there's less weight on the velcro strips that are holding the bags in position if you have it too heavy up here and when you're carrying it around they could have a tendency to uh, come off the Velcro and slide down. But quite a handy system. As I said, when I was walking around the, the styles down there or the gates, it's a good replacement for a barrow. If you don't have a barrow, you don't have the room for one, you can put this on the back and it basically negates the need for a barrow. So when you're navigating awkward things like those gates, you don't have to unload a barrow, reload it with the other side. And also when you're back at home, because you've got everything in one place, once you've finished your session, everything goes in here, stick that in the shed. You know that next time you want to go fishing, on a where you've got a short few hours you just want to grab everything and go as long as you put it all away correctly it's all still ready to go when you next go fishing i think that's pretty much everything covered so i'm going to get the rods out ping them out and hopefully we can have some fish today at the start of the video I've drawn the uh, lucky end of the deal and got to go fishing using all this stuff I didn't say I'd actually catch so I don't think you can quote me saying I would have actually caught but this was a living with slash using this setup in a real world situation and it's got me fishing it's got everything I wanted with me I'll just show you as I'm using it as I'm packing down how everything actually works so let's put that in there got one velcro strap at the bottom end one at the top to keep them from moving around and again it's got its own real dividing section there so I just put that in pop that in there and velcro that shut so that's in place get the other one like I said this is a three rod system so it would take more than what I've got with me today but it's a two rod venue so I'll put the two in here and there we are that's the rods pretty much secure like so but on the very top you've also got this little flap which goes over the top and protects the tips even more so that in transit you can rest assured that nothing's rattling around getting damaged and there's also obviously you can fit a third reel in there is then a final buckle to pull all the reels together so that there's no play they are all sitting there nicely here's my bucket of bait like I said, heavy stuff down this end. That's that down. Now, if you like the look of this tripod system that I had today, that is actually going to be the following video for uh, Sonic. And we've got some other pods and things on their way. So if you like the look of this and are intrigued by it, then uh, make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And you should see this in the near future. It's so quite a handy little system and also the alarms Luke's done a video on before, that's the Vader X alarms. I think, from memory, I think it's around the £99 mark for three in a receiver. I may be slightly wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the uh, price. So as you can see, how I've set out these bags, there's a gap here for the reels, and they slot perfectly in there like so. Set this all up. Nice and easy zips. Net in here. And we're done. All done. 
for one session. Of course, I've got my hooking mat there and I brought an extra bucket of bait, which doubled up as a seat today. But the ideal situation with this, or reason I think you go for this, as I've stated already, it kind of gets rid of the need for a barrow on venues like this where accessibility is a bit of a pain and you've got to ne negotiate styles, fences or little gates and things. Ideal for that, not unloading and reloading a barrow. But also if your fishing is very off the cuff, like, you, oh, not off the cuff, sorry, um, on a whim, and you don't want to be going to your shed or your garage or whatever and picking bits and then maybe forgetting bits, because you've got it all in one system like this, all you've got to do is, I now know this is ready to go fishing for me next time I want to get out. So I'll just chuck this in the car, then offload it into wherever I store it back home and then I think, oh, I've got four hours fishing time. I just got to grab one bag and my hook him out, of course, and I'm good to go. I'm not grabbing lots of different bits and bobs. As long as I put this all away properly, I know that it's all ready for me to go on the next session. So it's pretty handy. If you want more information on this, then do head over to the Sonic website. And of course, check the link in the description below where Luke's done a full in-depth video on this in all its different configurations, looking a bit more closely at things. But this was very much just a user experience of taking it with me. It's, of course, with the more you put in here, the heavier it gets. Getting onto your back can be a bit of an issue if you've got it a bit too heavy. But I find if you're able to prop it up against something, then squat down, put it on, then you're fine. So once you're actually on your back, it's nice and comfortable, keeps it all contained. But that is something to be aware of. And also, you've got handles on either end. As long as your arm span is big enough, easy to load in and out of the car, like so. So a nice little unit. If there's something you're interested in, like I said, do check it out. Well, that's pretty much it from me. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like if you did and subscribe to us if you haven't already. And remember to uh, watch any of the other videos popping up on the screen right now. I'm going to go home.